Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. And praise the name of the Lord. Very thrilled to have everybody here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for giving. Thank you for contributing. Thank you for being here tonight with us. And we're happy to have everyone. Sister Joanne and is that Matt's wife back there? God, we're so glad. And Matt's wife, uh, Uncle Matt, and Matt over here. But we're glad to see you. We're just happy to see you. Thrilled to have you back. God bless you. I appreciate your happiness, your giving, and your sharing, and your praying, and your visitation, and your fellowship. Just being part of this family up here on 7th Avenue. And then, of course, it just really, uh, really, 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 it just uplifts us to even say it. We're so glad to see Brother Randy Wilkes from Lakeland, yeah. Georgia. And, uh, I said, uh, in my years of ministry, it's my first time to walk with a man with a gun on the hip and also a gun in the pulpit. <laughs> Praise God for it. Uh, Brother Randy, he's a police officer there in Macon, but he's also a pastor of the church. And we're going to be going up that way in a few days and see the folks in Macon. Uh, take van loads of folks up and visit them and let them know we love them and appreciate them coming. Be down here with us. And we look happy and thrilled to have him and his lovely wife, godly sister in the Lord, wonderful. How the Lord's given her singing, playing, Mr. Tanya. Praise God. And Tanya. very happy to have Tanya with us tonight. And then Casey, that young man back there with a, uh, it's not a butch. It's not a butch. I know it is, but it's blonde, isn't it? Praise God. <laughs> and so we're, <laughs> we're, we're happy to have Brother Casey, their son, with us. <laughs> lady here, Alex, and we're so happy to have her with us also. We are up in Lincoln, now with us, praise the name of the Lord, our fellow brother and sister. We got acquainted with them a few months ago, and it's been a pleasure, a pleasant, wonderful, wonderful, encouraging relationship, just to know we have brothers and sisters in the Macon area. And we want to pray tonight. I want to say thank you for coming out. Our service is ordinarily Saturday night, but look at this turnout on Friday night. Amen. I appreciate the church. I appreciate you. We didn't have our youth meeting as we uh, planned it. We'll have that later on in the fall and uh, as we're near the fall months and get that back together and have our youth meeting. Uh, but we want tonight to pray for a couple of our youth leaders. Uh, some of you may know that Brother Dean Harris has been taken back to the hospital. He's in Tampa General tonight uh, with them. Um, they say that it's probably goes with this type of surgery, the transplant uh, of the kidney, and it just goes with it. It's it's a uh, not we don't use the word routine, but it's not unexpected that he would be undergoing this treatment and handling this uh, condition of a possible. Uh, further need of uh, checking him as he goes through the transition of healing. So we're going to pray for uh, Brother Dean Harris tonight. He put him right on the front burner and ask the Lord to help him. And Sister Sherry, loving, caring wife, right by his side all the way through the family. Uh, pray for Hunter. He's going up to Louisville in that welding contest that he won national acclaim for, and uh, he's coming back tomorrow from uh, Louisville, and he's going to draw a week and uh, a school a seminar, and Haley's right on the job tonight. In fact, the two Haley's are back there. Uh, and so we're glad to see both of them. Uh, but we are praying for Dane Harris tonight, and praying for Sherry and Tampa General, they're both up there one a patient and one there with her husband. And then we we received news late this afternoon that I want you to pray with me about, you know, in the ministry, we know men a long time. And I've been in the ministry 64 years. And 
And I've met many, many pastors, some going on to be with the Lord, some my contemporaries, some still living and working in areas of the country and ministry, uh, but they grew dear to your heart. Pastors grow dear to one another. They love each other as we do in the church, brothers and sisters, and our colleagues in the ministry have a special affinity as the years go by. We received word late this afternoon that one of our good brothers, uh, he was here two years ago in our convention in March, came with Brother Farmer from Cross Plains, Tennessee. Brother Bobby J. Mauser, um, he is in Sykeston, Missouri, pastors of church there. And Brother Mauser's older son took his life today. And that's a tragic moment in a family. And I want you to reach out for the Mauser family in Sykeston, Missouri tonight. Brother Bobby J. Mauser, his wife, and he has another son, but this is the older boy. I knew him when he was younger. But for whatever reasons, that people reach that place where they say it's no use going on. Uh, that happens in this life. And it happens to good people. It just doesn't happen to the bad. It happens to the good. And for whatever reason, this young man, Shannon, I believe his name was, wasn't it? Uh, Shannon, um, that he took his life and I know the Mauser family is in need of prayer tonight. So we want to pray for the Mauser family, Saxton, Missouri, uh, that God will help them, help for the Mauser. He's a great preacher. I've been to his church, Saxton, warm, loving man, and he loves the Lord, he loves fellowship, God's family. We want to pray for that family tonight, especially, and Dean and Sherry, and then we want to keep Sister Mary Crawford in prayer and ask the Lord to um, be with um, them and uh, be with Sister Crawford, Mary, glad Jackie's here, and Mother Mary, and uh, then those in the nursing homes and then Sister uh, Maddie um, Knight and Brother Joe Knight in 15th Street Nursing Home down here. Let's remember these in prayer. And there's many, many others, many others, many others. We're just thrilled tonight. We believe this service is of God. And we believe the Lord is going to richly, richly give us something from heaven here tonight. Amen. We're going to pray for it, aren't we? We're going to believe God. We're going to believe God for the families. We're going to believe God for the sick and the afflicted anywhere in our assembly. Let's keep Brother Merriman in prayer. He's back here tonight with Don Merriman. Keep him in prayer, and God will strengthen him and be with him. All the rest of God's family, very thrilled and happy, uh, along with Brother Wilkson. Family, uh, it's great to see our own, our own. Brother Howard and Sister Jill and, and Jackson. Brother Howard, it's good to see you home. Yeah, good to have you. We're glad you got back across that great divide from Amarillo, Texas, uh, down here to uh, uh, be with us and, and your home assembly. This is his home assembly. We love Sister Jill. She's part of us. We love the Myers family, Amarillo, Texas, that assembly out there. And we're thrilled to have them home with us for a few days. And Jackson's growing like a little weed. And I uh, got to watch him. He'll be taller than his dad before we know yeah. I, I can remember when Howard wasn't too much taller than Jackson. <laughs> I, I believe that wrong. Right. You know that. You see that. So we're glad to see them home with us and happy to have everybody. Anybody out, everybody's welcome. Good to have you here. Let's pray right now. Can we pray? Can we really, I mean, congregation, congregation, can we shut out? Let's let